we can give the undefined name right now if you run the test case it is going to pass for both the test cases let me just uh, right click and run the test so now you can see you will be seeing two test cases here okay so you can see we have two test cases and both are passing now hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to discuss the unit testing using in unit framework so if you remember few months back i created one video using uh, ms unit test framework so i thought of like uh, we can go more further into unit test project and today i'm going to uh, show you from a scratch how you can do all those things using any unit framework okay so this is the basic console application which i have created uh, and i will be using uh, logic from this project to test in the unit test project okay so just to show you what i have done here is i have created one contract folder and inside contract folder i have created one contract called employee okay so inside employee we have uh, these properties out of which uh, this one is boolean and this one is enum okay so i have created this uh, nationality as enum so you can go and check there so we do have uh, these values indian british american okay so first few unit tests will revolve around this logic only so if this employee class has this uh, boolean value as true then what we are going to do is we are going to go inside this nationality enum okay and then we are going to set the nationality with indian okay. this is the mapper class which we have created so here we have created one method called uh, set employee nationality and what we are passing is uh, this employee object and then we are checking if employee dot is indian means if if this contract has this flag as true then we are setting this nationality to indian okay so we are going to test this uh, mapper logic using any unit framework okay. so let's go and create the any unit uh, test project first so let's click on this uh, solution and uh, add new project let's uh, search for any unit okay and then we have to select the language as c sharp okay so this is the template which we are going to select click on the next uh let's give the project name as uh, something called uh, in unit demo test we can write project also that's fine or let's remove that project i don't need okay let's click on the next it is going to based on uh, .NET 8.0 which is the latest uh, .NET framework so let's create it uh, it has created the in unit uh, demo test project i don't need this unit test 1.cs so i'm just going to remove it okay we'll be creating our own class so if you check for the dependency you can see the nuget package related to the in unit uh, installed here okay so let's create one class so right click on the project okay and let's add one class so uh, what we can name the class as let's name this class as mapper test dot Yes, okay since we are going to test the logic of uh, mapper class all right let's make this class as public class so before we proceed you have to add a uh, test fixture here above class okay so let's see how you can create the test method so you have to use test okay and then uh, you have to write the public keyword so it depends on you what you are going to keep the method name as well as the return type so i'm going to just keep it as void and then uh, the method name should be like this so test that okay what is the method so i can simply take the method also so this one right so let's take that and go to mapper test write this again one more underscore and then we can write mapped correctly okay so as of now i'm not sure about the parameters so we can see what parameter we can use here so the first thing you need to do is you need to have some mock data okay for the employee okay so for that we can create one uh, let's say private static and uh, what is going to be the type return type for that method it is going to be the employee okay so as of now it is not uh, recognizing so probably we'll have to add the reference to the demo project so that that is what uh, it is going to suggest to you okay so add reference to the demo project let's add the reference so now if you see under project it is referring to the demo project okay let me just uh, give the name of this method as uh, set employee object okay let's uh, return new and then here let's return the employee id as well okay uh, then probably employee name as test 
So let's do one thing. Let's provide uh, the parameter to this method as uh, bull is Indian. Okay. So this is something we are going to pass from uh, this test method. Okay. And then let's do one thing is Indian is equal to is Indian. And then nationality. Uh, nationality is something that we do not care because uh, nationality is something that is going to be uh, set uh, with this method. So let's uh, not use it okay so by default it is going to be undefined let's call this uh, method from here to create the employee object so let's say where employee is equal to set employee object okay and then uh let's uh, provide the parameter is indian as true okay so as of now we are going to test if we supply is indian right so according to the method we have created here this property nationality should be updated with Indian, right? So that is something that we are going to test here. So let's create the object of that mapper class. So if you if you see guys, uh, this property mapper does not depend on any of the interface or classes, okay? So you don't have to mock those uh, classes or interface. You can simply create the object for it and you can call this method. So let's do that. It's where mapper is equal to new to we can simply call that method okay so map dot map dot set employee nationality and we can pass the employee okay so you have to test it now okay so for that what you can do is we can write assert dot that and then we can compare actual result and expected result okay so what is going to be the actual result this uh, employee dot nationality right so nationality and then comma is dot equals to uh, nationality dot Indian okay since we have passed the value as true so ideally our method should do the thing and then we should be able to verify it okay so now our method is done let's uh, put a breakpoint here inside your test uh, method and we can right click on this okay and then click on the debug test so you can see uh it has hit this breakpoint let's see let's go to f10 let's see what is the employee object it has created so test one true undefined salary is zero because we have not supplied those values right so in test cases uh, you should only care about the value which uh, you are going to test right now uh it is going to create one object of this mapper uh, property mapper class and then it is going to call this method so if you want to go inside this method actual class method you can just uh, click on a step into function or i will be doing function f11 uh, whether it should go inside this or not so obviously it is going to go inside it and it is going to set the property of nationality okay so now if you see this employee might have been updated with the nationality so earlier it was undefined right now it now if you see it is indian because we have supplied this flag so our method uh, is verified successfully here so you can see this test has been passed if you want to run the test case directly you can right click here and uh, run test so that is one way of doing it or the second way of doing is uh, you can just uh, go to view open the text explorer and uh, you will be able to see the test cases here okay so this is our test method which we have created so you can just right click here and run it okay so this will also gonna run the test case now let's think about the second one so if what happened if we supply the is indian to false so debug test let's go to f10 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 now if you see our method also has been executed so if you see the employee object now you can see the nationality is undefined so now if you execute it this will fail so here you go it has failed because it is expecting indian but it is undefined so we have two choices first one is obviously you need to test the negative scenario as well so what you will do are you going to create the second method to test it by supplying false here and here undefined no so we can update the same method to test both the scenarios so for that you need to take the test case instead of test okay and then you have to supply the parameter so let's say for the first case we are going to supply the is indian as true okay so what we are going to write here is true and this value is going to be supplied to 
this parameter okay so let me just take the bull and is indian okay and what i am going to do is i will be using this is indian here directly so i want to take the expected result as variable as well because if uh, we are making it false the expected result is going to vary so for true what is going to be the expected result it is going to be nationality dot indian okay so nationality dot indian and you need to specify this parameter here as well so nationality and you can name this parameter as nationality okay and then what we are going to do is we are simply going to check it here so we can remove this we can make it as a variable result okay so this is our first test case for the second test case what we can do we can use this as false okay and nationality is going to be undefined so we can give the undefined name right now if you run the test case it is going to pass for both the test cases let me just uh, right click and run the test so now you can see you will be seeing two test cases here okay so you can see we have two test cases and both are passing now so this is how you can uh, use the test method to test it for multiple scenarios so since guys our both the test cases have been passed and these test cases are directing to which method this method okay so if you go to this method you will be seeing how many test cases are there for this method and what is the result let's go to this method directly so if you see it is showing you two by two passing which means this method has two test cases and both are passing so we can cover the next set of uh, test cases with more variation like uh, we'll be using uh, moq uh, mock and uh, some other stuff as well so it will be quite interesting right so we can uh, finish this video here itself so thank you guys for watching uh, please do not forget to subscribe our channel